I need to make sure this is my account and not the uh, my personal one. I believe this is the right one because yes. All right, good. Do you say hold on? Technically, y'all yeah. are on oh. stream, so I'm gonna move to stream voice. Y'all, let me know when. Yeah, it says your life. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Uh, this is your host, Daniel Chance of the Team Jawa Group, uh, here to give you another Junkyard Jawa cast. Uh, tonight's match is a Top Gun game between Kyle Trubert of the First Order uh, and Justin Dickey of the Empire. Uh, this is going to be some Thai Barons versus Thai Fighters, uh, you know, the good old classics. Um, and yeah, we're going to be getting started here in just a second. Um, let me fix Kyle's call sign real quick because it appears it was not saved properly. Uh, as you guys know, this is the Top Gun tournament, so we like keeping it, uh, call signs and all. I'm getting a notification and they are ready when I am. So cool. Uh, we will go ahead and disable that and, uh, they can go for it. Here's the timer. As you can see, I thoroughly know what I'm doing. Um, like I said, uh, I am Daniel, and I'm currently eating pasta. But we have a game going in. Justin sending his TIE Fighters in. Kyle sending in uh, his Provocateur as well at an angle. There goes Mahler Mythyl. Uh, Mahler is the TIE Fighter that gets the additional dice at range 1, uh, which leads to the glorious 4 attack dice TIE Fighter. Uh, and then Kyle has Major Von Reg last uh, with Daredevil, probably one of my favorite ships in all X-Wing. Uh, seems we have a, a pause on the timer. Uh, let's see what's up. Oh, and they're back. Okay. Well, things happen. You know, they should know what they're doing. They're on stream. Uh, clearing those tokens. As I was saying, Von Reg is one of my favorites. Um, the Tie Baron chassis combined with Daredevil lets him be a really, really good knife fighter. Uh, I'm sure anyone who's played against Von Reg knows about that already. But the fact that he can turn in, roll, turn out, um, as well as get those free target locks just for the cost of a strain, and he can then double mod his shots easily, it's a really nice combo. Uh, here in a game like Top Gun, uh, it's really important as well, uh, because it lets you get good guns on the enemy as well as uh, just simply outmaneuvering them when you're moving last. Kyle has a 10-point bid, which will help him uh, move last in a lot of cases. On this game, he's not going to have to worry about it against smaller. Uh, it gives him the bid for the Provocateur, though, against the Black Squad Aces. Uh, Justin is running Intimidation and Afterburners on those TIE Fighters, though. Uh, so you'll see them definitely be working as blockers, um, trying to catch one of these Barons off guard uh, to follow up with some shots uh, against the lower defense. Another news, Penne Pasta with a little marinara is uh, surprisingly easy to make. Uh, it tastes pretty good, so I would recommend... But, oh gosh, they're pausing again. What's going on here? Let's see what they've got going on. Ah, Kyle is laggy boy. Okay, cool. Well, that's that. Answers our mystery. I'm going to resume the timer. Looks like it's going to be a little bit off. 
uh, but it's close enough. So, uh, as you can see, also we got some cool custom arts going on. Uh, we see Kyle has his own uh, custom uh, alts. This is Major Vonreg from our Upside Down tournament, which was a lot of Halloween-themed cards. Uh, this one is depicting Major Von Reg as the Red Baron fighting against Snoopy from the classic Charlie Brown movies and TV shows. Uh, I guess TV specials is a better way to phrase them. Uh, and then this is uh, a, a, a portrait of the man himself. Uh, Hayden Dillard, one of the uh, artists here for Team Jawa, uh, was open for commissions, and Kyle commissioned him to create a uh, portrait of Kyle as a First Order officer. Uh, and this is the variant of the card that is a Ty Baron generic pilot. Uh, if you guys are interested in getting commissions yourself, uh, feel free to message Hayden on the Discord. Uh, that is going to be Hayden Dillard, call sign Ross currently. Uh, he might be able to set you up uh, talk rates and commissions, so feel free to uh, holla at him. And on Justin's side, uh, we have a custom art of Intimidation, also done by Hayden. Uh, and this one is featuring the Keeping Up Foreign Relations scene, or Foreign Communications, I've only seen the movie once, from Top Gun, uh, and it's one of the participation prizes, I believe, for this tournament. Uh, it depicts an A-Wing uh, and a pilot, uh, you know, being real friendly there against a Fang Fighter pilot. Uh, and it works real great on Arvel. Um, but with all that art aside, I should probably talk about the actual game going on here. Right now, Justin is sending his TIE Fighters in, uh, trying to get shots in as well as blocks. Uh, we'll see. I have a feeling Kyle's just going to skirt around the edge. Um, but Justin might be waiting for that, trying to get Kyle uh, locked into an engagement. So that way it'll follow up immediately with TIE Fighters getting thrown in as blockers. Um... We see the stress going out. Imagine for a target lock. Yep, there it is. Going on to yellow. And he boosts in. Lining up a really good shot on yellow. Justin is going to have a hard time uh, blocking directly. Oh, pause the timer again. And it's back. Justin might have a hard time blocking yellow. Oh, you're killing me here, Justin. We'll see if he can uh, capitalize off of this, uh, or if Kyle's going to be able to just slip away. I would imagine with a one hard right, uh, and just getting out of there. Vonreg, ooh, ooh, very fancy. Vonreg, skirting the edge, takes a strain to barrel roll, and then a daredevil boost in, uh, faking out Justin, and lining up a second shot on, I would imagine, the yellow TIE Fighter. Uh, probably hoping to initiative kill here. Um, take a ship off the board before uh, he ever gets shot. Well, that's not a good first start. That is three blanks with no modifications on that Von Reg. Uh, definitely not the uh, attack Kyle was hoping for. He's now preparing his defense dice to see if Mahler has a shot. Survey says no. Just out of range. It's got to suck for Justin. Uh, but I'm sure Kyle is uh, more than happy to take that, especially after his first attack whiffing. Going in for a range 2 shot on yellow now. He has the target lock and 3 attack dice. And I think yellow has a focus on defense. Oh, now that's a good offense opening. Spending the target lock on the third. Oh, yellow does not have a focus. Hit, crit, crit. This could very well be the end of yellow. And it is. There goes one of the TIE Fighters. Kyle getting the opening he really wanted here. Uh, taking a ship off the board. And putting Justin at a drastic disadvantage. Uh, now that a third of his list is gone. I should probably go update that here in the overlay. Uh, all three dead on one black squadron ace. That is going to put Kyle in the lead with 32 points. And reducing the number of TIE Fighters that can block him. Um, Justin had had pretty good luck with these TIE Fighters in testing. Uh, but it appears they uh, don't necessarily hold up if you blank out. That's kind of the age-old struggle of anyone who's flying a three green ship, especially TIE Fighters and Interceptors and any of those guys who, who go poof in one hit. And I'll see, I imagine a one hard left out of green, unless he's going to try to avoid being too predictable. Um, really what Justin wants to do now is 
<laughs> kill probably Von Reg first if he can help it. There goes a, I believe, two or three hard left out of green. And then he barrel rolls, setting up a good block. Um, Provocateur says no thanks and just goes straight over. A little surprised he didn't go for a 5k if he was expecting the block. 5k would have given him some good time on target, but could have put him in a perilous situation with Mar Mauler, or it might not have resolved too, I suppose. Uh, listen through. What actions he wants to take. Maybe he's considering a barrel roll right or left into a daredevil to increase his time on target for the next turn, or catch Mauler if Mar Mauler is unprepared. Barrel rolls right, hits the cloud, is going to have to adjust. Barrel rolls towards the middle, and then daredevil's in. Uh, potentially blocking Mauler, depending on how fast she goes in. Uh, and even in a, a good scenario, being able to shoot Mauler. Mauler goes straight through. Uh, it looks like she's probably going to be out of that shot. Let me get a closer look. Yeah, it looks like she's safe. Uh, she takes a focus. Von Reg comes in. Uh, he's in multiple arcs, which is not where he wants to be. He barrel rolls right and disengages. Uh, one of the powers of the Ty Baron chassis is they can uh, very easily get out of a bad situation. Um, there's a lot of opportunities with the uh, barrel roll into either a standard or daredevil boost. Uh, it makes it really difficult to pin them down. Uh, with no shots, they're moving forward into the next turn. Kyle flipping his dials. Uh, getting everything prepared. I'm going to adjust the camera so it's not visible that the timer is off, you know. just uh, There's like a four second gap between the table timer and the uh, stream timer, but don't worry about it, it's fine. Now Justin's in a weird spot. He could, I guess, uh, K-turn with the TIE Fighters or Sloop with Mauler using the uh, Precision Ion Engines, uh, which is the modification that came with the viewing pack. Um, but then he's not getting mods, and these these Von Reg TIE Fighters really like getting double modded attacks. He's opting for the K-turns, trying to still get a shot even if there's no modifications. Uh, Kyle turns in. I imagine we'll see a uh, lock turn into maybe a daredevil boost or a standard boost. Daredevil might be a little too ambitious. Uh, he clears his tokens with that blue maneuver. He's thinking through his options, probably wary of Mauler coming in hot. like he's thinking. He barrel rolls and probably into a focus. Okay. So he barrel roll focuses, takes the deplete, I'd imagine. Yep. Trying to avoid getting shot at all and setting up for the next turn of fighting. Justin uses that uh, precision ion engines to change the K turn into a sloop uh, for the TIE fighter. And Kyle barrel rolls back and daredevil's in. He's going to get a shot possibly through that gas cloud. Yep, that's going to be range 2 or 3. Let's see how many dice they pull up. Range 2 through the gas cloud. Uh, probably not going to hit. It's 2 hits. Justin just has to roll one squiggle and one blank, which he does. And he is totally fine. He uses the blank to evade conversion of the gas cloud uh, to shrug off any damage. Now he takes his range 3 shot onto the provocateur. This is his chance to score some points. Rolls two blanks and does not. Uh, dice are, are not looking to be in Justin's favor currently. Uh, generic has a shot. Both are range three obstructed. I imagine he's going to want to shoot at yellow. Takes the shot of Honor Egg. Hoping for that all eyeballs, I imagine. Rolls two attack dice. Gets one crit. Kyle has to roll all eyeballs to take any damage. He almost does, but he gets one evade result. Or one blank result, which he can modify into an evade. 
Justin was so close to uh, sneaking that damage onto Vonreg. Uh, Kyle starts flipping his dice on accident, uh, creating a nice little spectacle in the bottom left corner. To any uh, comments uh, in the chat, any, uh, I have comments? now pulled open a tab <laughs> in Chrome uh, because OBS is not showing me uh, any any notes in the chat. So I'm now here if you guys are saying anything. It says you have the time. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, Joe, you're wanting Kyle to, to run and frustrate Justin. Uh, it's certainly a strategy. Um, I don't know if he needs to. I think he can just easily run in and finish off these ships, especially with the effectiveness of uh, Von Reg and the Provocateur's offense. But uh, he certainly could uh, just focus on uh, being obnoxious and, uh, I guess, working on the uh, the psychological victory of uh, tilting your opponent. See Green going in, trying to block Von Reg. Yellow turning out. Uh, he's free to really take a lock at this point. He barrel rolls and boosts out. Looks like he's running, just like uh, Joe wanted. Oh, he's undoing that. Why is he undoing? Oh, he's changing the barrel roll. And then he does the daredevil boost. Takes the stress. And then in goes Mauler. Not quite sure where she's uh, expecting Vonreg to show up. Takes a barrel roll to hopefully get a shot on yellow. Vonreg disengages to the left. Takes a target lock. Puts it on Mauler. And uh, maybe Daredevil's in? Yep. Daredevil's in, hoping to get that corner shot. Uh, even if he doesn't, he's in a good place to follow up against Mauler on the next turn. A uh, one bank in gives him a ton of options on this next uh, maneuvering step. No shot on Mahler. Mahler has a corner shot there on the Provocateur. Uh, it's going to be two on two. It's one hit. One natural evade. And Kyle takes nothing. That is back to dials for the next turn. After that initial engagement, there hasn't been that much bloodshed. I'm uh, I'm remembering last game I helped stream with, uh, what was it, Skurgs versus Y-Wings? Now that was a bloodbath. There was points being scored left and right, and it was really hard to keep up with. Uh, it seems with some of these more nimble ace type lists, though, uh, points are, are few and far between. Uh, focusing on uh, getting kills when they really matter, uh, and staying in the lead as long as you can. Through their dials. I guess now is the time for me to complain about Kyle's list here, um, because when Kyle was practicing some for this event, I saw him play Vonrig once. I was like, that's cool. Uh, but he had all these upgrades, and I was like, nah, you just need Daredevil. Uh, so I ripped off his idea and flew Vonrig. Uh, and then I only flew it with Daredevil on the two chassis back when he was still running a few other upgrades. Uh, and now he's running this. We're running the same build, uh, and I'm just going to claim that he ripped me off, uh, even though I took inspiration from him uh, and made what was probably one of the most like obvious list choices. Uh, but this, this is still my my way to to try to act like I like I did it before. It was cool, even though I'm a, a shameless ripoff. <laughs> yeah, Kyle is. Uh... 
having good results uh, on and off stream then, it seems, Joe. He's a, he's a pretty good player from what I've seen, though. He does a, a good job of flying and making uh, good decisions. Justin's a great player, too, but these dice are uh, not holding up for him all the same. Is it Von Reg took a turn out. Seems to be more of a dance. Kyle knows he's in the lead. Uh, maybe he's hoping to put Justin in a bad situation. Takes the evade on Von Reg. For some reason. I guess there's no other action to really take. He's not in range. He's not getting shot. And we're back to Dials. Ah, nice. Yeah, it's fun having rivals uh, in X-Wing. Just so you can kind of see, like, how to face them and start understanding their strategies. Uh, was it Hayden, the guy who's been doing the arts for some of these cards? We've played uh, like on kitchen table level for a while, and then we did a ton of practice also for Top Gun. And he's bringing quad jumpers, are pretty, which are are really silly. So it was always fun uh, trying to learn some of that uh, and uh, working on that uh, kind of a grudge match, trying to beat those quad jumpers with Von Reg when they are a pretty good counter. See the barrel roll coming out of green after a one hard. Uh, yellow, banking in, barrel roll boosting with Daredevil, uh, the traditional uh, tie Baron sign of welcome. Mahler going over the cloud, also disengaging. Clears the stress, takes the strain back though. Von Reg taking a one hard. Ooh, Kyle, you're in a good spot. Takes a focus. Aiming to just take the range three double modded shot on a strained tokenless smaller. It's a, uh, a good shot to take right here. Ooh, natties. Always uh, everyone's favorite moment is when you're all double modded up uh, and you just roll natties. Uh, that is going to be two hits and a crit landing on Mauler, ending Mauler's career here. I feel I feel bad for Justin. These dice have been pretty bad, and aside from that too, he's definitely fighting an uphill battle with uh, a Von Reg moving after him with double mod attacks on these Tie Fighters who have uh, been uh, been blanking out on a lot of stuff. Takes the range three attack, gets one hit on Von Reg. Von Reg rolls a single evade, and he's all right. Kyle looking. Pretty good for a full tabling at this moment. Uh, and yellow does not have a shot. Yeah, that's true. Justin definitely knew this was a meme list. Uh, I think... He was wanting to prove that TIE Fighters can do good in the format. Uh, and hopefully you will have better matches that can prove that. Uh, as it stands, though, currently, uh, TIE Fighters aren't looking so hot. Quad Jumpers were another meme list that, uh, I'd say, hold a little more weight in this format. Uh, you know, Quad Jumpers, they have the ability to tractor someone uh, with more obstacles. That's always a good thing. Uh, combined with the fact that they can have payloads like mines... Uh, really screws up the dogfighting aspect of this and makes it a lot more of a, a board knowledge and control game. Um, but TIE Fighters do not have all of that control. Uh, and they don't have those dials, too. Takes a three straight. Focuses. Yellow. Goes straight. See if he even barrel rolls, because what he can do here is he can just take the target lock focus. It's an obstructed shot, but he might be able to either initiative kill or at least do serious damage. Um, maybe even killing him, depending on where Von Reg ends up. Or he could barrel roll out and boost in, still getting a shot and being able to follow up. Um, really a lot of options for Kyle as he's moving after. Uh, the TIE Fighter with these incredibly, incredibly maneuverable Barons. 
takes the deplete to barrel roll in, and then takes a focus, and take a three dice attack. I see Von Reg coming in as well. Likely target lock Daredeviling. Takes a deplete. It's the Daredevil fit though. He might have to barrel roll. Oh, he's undoing that. He's he's changing his mind. Barrel rolling, it looks like. For the deplete. And he's daredevil boosting in, I would imagine. Nope, he's evading. He just doesn't want to get shot. No need to give up half points. Although I'm a little surprised he didn't rush in and just try to kill the TIE fighter in one turn. Range one shot. That is going to be Natty's against the Provocateur who spends his focus and takes a single damage to his shields. The Prov now shooting back. Range 1 gets a single crit. Uh, does not have the focus to spend anymore. And Justin takes the crit uh, because his green dice uh, are not cooperating. Let's get a good look at that crit real quick. You're looking at a loose stabilizer. Uh, Justin now has to go straight or give up half points. Uh, really not a good crit to be dealt at this moment. Uh, I mean, I can't imagine any crit is good, but you really hope for something like a stun pilot here. TIE Fighter going straight, patching up that Stabilizer. Provocateur turning in, getting blocked. Von Reg taking a Sloop and a Stress. He's still depleted. He has no shot. This is the part where Justin wishes he probably had another TIE Fighter because Yellow would be rolling one less defense dice. Uh, it'd be a really great way to score some points on that Provocateur. Uh, but unfortunately... Uh, that first TIE Baron, or that first TIE Fighter, I should say, uh, went down in the first engagement due to a little thing we like to call variance. The K turn coming out of green uses Afterburners to boost. Gives the stress. <laughs> Kyle coming in with a one hard. Um. I can't tell if that has arc or not. Um, if it does, this is going to be a really, really funny shot. Um, it doesn't look entirely like it to me. And then red, Von Reg is taking this to bank, avoiding green, uh, taking a strain to lock. And I would imagine Daredevil boosting to red, unless he barrel rolls. Barrel roll, er, daredeviling to the left. Uh, I guess wanting to approach from that angle. No shots this turn. Uh, so we're going to go back to maneuvers as Kyle finds his best way uh, to attack Justin. He's kind of waiting for an opening. Um, waiting for another, another round of shooting. Justin takes three straight, clears that stress token. And he is going to evade. Hoping to deny those half points. Uh, Kyle comes in and boosts. It does not look like he's going to have a shot, though. Von Reg makes a one turn. He has the option to barrel roll and focus. See if he does that. Because he can still get a shot then and be double modded. Or is he just going to go for the boost? Keep a little more direct time on target. Come on, barrel roll. Do it. Barrel roll left back. Barrel rolls forward, still getting the shot, so, you know, that works. And he boosts, opting for four dice that are single-modded rather than three double-modded dice. I can respect that. 
range one attack coming. And Growlithe saw that evade token and realized he needed to uh, roll more dice. And more dice he rolls. That is a hit and a crit off the gate. Target locks for a guaranteed crit going through. Justin rolls two evades and a focus, spends that evade result, takes a single crit that is going to be half points, and that is a direct hit, which will be the full game right there. Uh, good game to everyone who played. Uh, unfortunate uh, on some of those dice rolls for Justin, but that's X-Wing for you. Um, Kyle also had a serious advantage here, just by the nature of his list. Um, it loves preying off of uh, ships that it can outmaneuver, and it gets double modded offense, and the ties just do not really have consistent dice at all. Um, so that's the end of the game, and uh, let's hop on over and talk with the, the team. Hello? Hello. Hello. How's it going, everyone? Quick well, game ish. Yeah. I feel bad. You, uh, you, you kind of killed some stuff there. I mean, why yeah. do you feel bad? I'm the idiot that. Frickin' blue TIE Fighters. <laughs> I mean, because I like you, and I still feel bad whenever, like, Ooh, you pop on a blank out on a Justin. natty hit. That's true. Yeah. You heard it here first, folks. But, with all that aside... <laughs> oh, we're on stream for this. Whoops. <laughs> thank you guys <laughs> for playing. Um, yeah. <laughs> so hey, I my TIE I Fighters... That they're being streamed. Yeah. Professional streamer here. Yeah, we, we got all of the uh, all of the we got the good game out of the way on the uh, in the practice runs. Yeah, yep, exactly. Now it's time for just one sided destruction as you blank yep. out on Tie Fighters twice. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I didn't blank out the second time. I rolled two eyeballs. I just didn't have a mod. Oh. <laughs> Essentially the same thing, but a yeah, little different. It says that I rolled three evades in the dice stat, but I don't recall the third one. I also don't recall the third one. And I'm pretty sure, to, yeah, two of my six hits that were listed were actually from Strain. <laughs> uh, Andrew hopping in the chat saying, my word, did Duck get tabled? Uh, the answer is uh, Von Reck go burr. Ty LN dice do not. Yes, um, no. Yeah, Kyle the greens. already had an advantage with the maneuverability of these barons. Uh, you rolled a third one. And the, the, oh, okay. the dice rolls. Um, also also assisted in this victory aside from yeah, the fact I, that these barons are crazy maneuverable and yeah what my uh, once or twice in answer to your question my yellow tie fighter blanked out on first engagement and died uh mauler rolled a blank in two eyes after he had done a stressful maneuver oh no he went over a cloud yeah so he was strained too mm -hmm. which didn't help yeah but it ranged three so i still rolled three greens but still no squiggles there so he died mm -hmm. and then uh, the second one managed to roll three of aids apparently but i uh, kyle and i only recall two uh, but joe says that i rolled a third one somewhere so oh. all right i don't remember where but you did well okay. that is it for tonight's game uh, thank you guys for all stopping by uh my yeah. name is daniel and i am now full of pasta which is always a good thing um we'll be hosting more of these games uh throughout the tournament and if you guys play on stream for the tournament uh, you can also get a fancy schmancy daredevil card uh, so be sure to check that out if you haven't seen it already. Go check out the announcements in the Team Jawa tournament plan or tournament uh, Discord server, uh, and feel free to uh, holla at us if you want to have your match streamed. Um, but with all that said, thank you guys for stopping by, and uh, I hope everyone has a pleasant evening. Farewell.